river flies. Unless you're a fly fisherman, you may be unaware of their very existence. And yet, not only are river flies food for fish, but bird life depend upon them too. Such is this little grebe feeding its young. Some species lay their eggs beneath the surface of the water, but to do so, they require in-stream or bankside vegetation. Sadly, less than 30% of rivers are in good ecological status as defined by European legislation. It is estimated that some river fly populations have collapsed by as much as 70% over recent years. Certainly, there will be a number of reasons that contribute to their decline, but undoubtedly, water abstraction, pollutants and degraded habitat all have an impact. This is why the Salmon and Trout Association, a registered charity, spends so much of its time using scientific evidence to lobby government and its agencies over these and many other issues. A simple but effective way of providing these river flies with a practical helping hand is to introduce into the river fly boards. A simple construction which in reality is no more than a short piece of untreated wood wired to a point such as a bridge support. Results can be instant. These are granum eggs and represent just a couple of days of egg laying. A truly amazing result. Certain upwinged river flies also make use of the boards, such as this olive. Boards may also attract other welcome visitors, such as a water vole which has left its mark. A word of caution. As you can see, some river flies took the opportunity to crawl down waders to lay their eggs. This can result in the unintentional transfer of species between watercourses, which can be very dangerous, especially when we're trying to control the spread of some non-native species. All water users must ensure clothing and equipment is thoroughly dried before moving to another water. Many of the issues which lie behind the decline in river flies seem too difficult for individuals to do anything about. Well, there are two ways in which you can help. Firstly, by doing practical work on local rivers, such as providing fly boards demonstrated in this video. Secondly, you can join the Salmon and Trout Association 
and add your support to the work of this campaigning charity by influencing national decision makers to adopt policies which really do protect our rivers from excessive water abstraction, pollution, degraded habitats and many other issues which jeopardise the health of our rivers, fish, fly life and all other water dependent species. It is so easy to join and put something back, to say thanks for past enjoyment and ensure future generations can do the same. Investing in SNTA membership is simple. Just log on to its website 